unique design of the digiblocks allows an easy generalization from large numbers all the way down to decimals. We ask students what they first see when they open up this block of 1,000, and they say 10 smaller blocks, the blocks of 100. When we open up the block of 100, we see 10 smaller blocks, the blocks of 10. When we open up the blocks of 10, of course, we see 10 single blocks. When the students were then asked to imagine what would happen if they could open up a single block, they naturally said they would see 10 smaller blocks inside. And that's where we get our 10th block. When asked again what would happen if they could open this up to see inside, students naturally said that they would see 10 even smaller blocks, hundredth blocks. These blocks allow students to understand that decimals are just another part of our base 10 number system. When presented with a problem like this on paper to compare the decimal 1.8 and 1.22, many students assume that 1.22 is bigger because they look at the decimals as whole numbers. When we set the two numbers up, on a place value mat, we can much more clearly see the difference. Okay, the 1.8 and the 1.22. We see that the 1.8 is 1 and 8 tenths, and the 1.22 is 1 and 22 hundredths. We can now clearly see that this is a bigger number. When we add these two numbers together, we do it in the exact same manner we would with whole numbers. We combine them together. But now, to match one digit per place, we see we have 10 tenths. And we must regroup the 10 tenths as another single. So our answer is 3 and 2 hundredths.